What Palestinians are facing is the extension of five centuries of the Western colonization of African nations. That's according to Kemi Seba, a French Beninese pan African political leader, in remarks at a presser in Tehran, where he's on a three day visit to share his views on what he calls the West's neo colonialism, which he says has manifested once again in the Israeli war on Gaza. Palestine is uh, different from me, but we have some common problems. So they are my, bro my brother and sister, and we are the brother and sister, and we need to understand and collaborate each other. Convergence of struggles, that's the only solution if we want to make an uh, end to the domination of the Western world and the Zionist lobby. Kemi Saba rose to prominence for his fight against French neocolonialism in Africa. He believes that centuries of French subjugation of African nations has not faded away but has continued under the modern guise of economic colonialism through the use of the CFA franc in Africa. The CFA is a regional currency pegged to the euro and used throughout 14 mainly francophone countries in West and Central Africa and dates back to the days of colonial rule. He says Africa cannot be liberated from French dominance until the CFA is abolished on the continent. Unfortunately, colonialism uh, is strongly, deeply, and maybe probably more present today with the globalism, Western globalism in the world. That's the worst part of colonialism on this world. In Africa, our president, the majority of our president, are the puppets of the Zionist lobby. They are the puppets of European nation. They are puppets of uh, America. They are puppets of uh, France. Kemi Sava's strong and eloquent speeches against imperialism have won him immense support in Africa. He has spearheaded several anti-French rallies that resulted in huge turnouts, amassing a celebrity-like following on social media and appearing on television talk shows in French-speaking Africa, his fame is not limited to the continent. He's well known in many non-African countries that share the same sentiments towards the West. He suggests the footprints of anti-imperialism can be traced in all countries that have been subject to the Western globalist approach, from South American states to the Arab world, and even Russia. What is the controversy about the fact that some people want to help you for resist against Western Hemisphere. If somebody has an enemy, I have one enemy, and he said to me that uh, we can uh, unify our forces against a common enemy, what is the problem? Uh, Europe, Europe uh, makes all, always this kind of action. When they have some enemy, when there was Gaddafi, they unify all their forces for kill Gaddafi, right or wrong. When there was, and there is today again, uh, Bashar al-Assad, all of them unify their forces for attack Bashar al-Assad. Kemi has been arrested and jailed several times in France and even his home country, Benin, for his straightforward rhetoric against the West and Israel. Western media refer to him as a radical anti-Semitic figure. He says such labeling seeks to demonize him. The same people who say that I'm anti-Semites are the same people who try to demonize Iran, to demonize Russia, to demonize China. The only people they don't demonize are the people they, who submit to them. But I don't want to be submit to anybody. At the beginning, on, the people who were anti-Semites were the people who hated Jew. But now the people who are labeled it, anti-Semites are the people who criticize the terrorism of Israel. Kemi Saba believes Palestinians and Africans are both faced with a common threat, and that is Western colonialism, which he says still runs deep in the West's foreign policy. He says the ultimate way out is to establish a unified front that would bind Africans, Muslims, Latin Americans, and any other nation that has, quote, suffered the sting of colonialism, with the ultimate goal of advancing a multipolar world order that would knock down Western unilateralism. Yusuf Jaloni RT, Tehran. If everything I say is true, this ain't no way it ought to be. If only all the masks could see, everybody say, don't worry, don't worry.